What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this brand new episode of Restoration with Vic. Today, we're gonna to be restoring the CDP Higa Game Air Jordan 13s that I picked up on eBay for $25. Um, these things are completely trash, worn to the ground. Just look at these soles, heavy heel drag everywhere. Can't do much about it, but I could do some magic on these uppers. The first thing I'm gonna do is give the shoe a full proper deep clean inside and out. The shoe desperately needs it. After that, I'm gonna remove the yellowing off the pods of the sole. Repaint the white leather, get rid of the creasing off the toe boxes, and possibly do some regluing on the shoe. It's gonna be a, a complicated project and a lengthy one, so let's get started. <laughs> to get started on this project, we're gonna remove the shoelaces and pop in our adjustable Rejuvenator shoe tree to size. Shoe tree's in, laces are out. First things first, let's squirt some rejuvenator solution into our collapsible bowl. The first brush we're gonna be using is a stiff bristle brush to clean up these soles. All done with the stiff bristle brush. Now we're gonna clean up these paws on the side of the shoe using the brass bristle brush. Soles and paws are fully cleaned. Now we're gonna move on to the third brush, which is a soft bristle. We'll be using it to clean the tongues and the rest of the suede around the shoe. All done with the soft bristle, on to the last one, which is the all-purpose. We're gonna be using this brush to give the white leather a nice deep clean. Shoe is fully pre-treated. Before we go ahead and put the shoe inside the laundry bag and put them in the washing machine, we're gonna freshen up this insole and shoelace with the soft bristle brush. Shoe is completely good to go. Now let's put them inside the laundry bag. Time for my favorite part, the washing machine process. As always, we're gonna be using cold water with the regular cycle. And of course, one ounce of our rejuvenator single line detergent. This stuff works great. Bam. Bing. Shoes are out the washing machine. They're fully dried. They look good, smell good, but we're not there yet. Shoes are pretty trash still. Um, now we're gonna move on to removing the yellowing off the yellow pods using Salon Care 40 and Ceram Wrap. Four hours later, all the pods on the sole are back to white. Took about two hours on each side. Came out really good, um, really easy. The indoor setup and the Salon Care 40 definitely did its job. Now moving forward with this restoration, we're gonna try to remove as much as, um, creasing as possible using the iron method and a wet rag. So for this step, we're just gonna be putting the wet rag over the toe box 
and simply going over it with the iron. All done removing the creases of the toolbox. Looks a lot better than what they used to. Got about 80% of the creases out, but there's still some light creasing. Um, but we expected that, so that's okay, because the shoe is pretty beat. So moving on to the next step is a slight separation near the toe box. First step we're gonna do in prep is tape around it. Shoe is taped up. We're gonna be using acetone, cotton balls, and cotton swabs to prep it. Insides are fully prepped, now we're going to be applying some barge and finish cement. We'll be applying a thin coat on the rubber piece and on the under pot area. Let it cure for 7 minutes, then we'll clap it together. All right, seven minutes are up, time to clamp. One eternity later. Glue job's all done. Mother <laughs> Mother glue job's all done, came out perfect, flush, no glue where there shouldn't be. Um, moving on to the next step is this white leather. It's pretty scuffed up and scratched up in some areas, so we'll be taking care of that with some paint. But first, we gotta prep it using acetone and cotton balls once again. Leather's fully prepped, got the factory finish and a deep dirt inside the leather out. Now before we paint, we gotta tape off everything but the white leather. Shoes are finally taped up, now it's time to give this faded scratched up leather a new paint job. We're going to be using jacquard white paint through the airbrush. White paint supplied, all those scratches, scuffs, and faded leather is gone. Now to protect this paint job, we're gonna go outside and spray them with some Krylon matte finish. What was that? Working on it. Cool. White leather is all done. Did a really good job on the tape job since none of the white paint leaked onto the black suede or anywhere else on the shoe. So moving on to one of the final steps in this restoration are these toe boxes. As you can see in some areas, it's pretty scuffed up and faded. So we're gonna take care of that with a fresh new paint job. But first, we gotta prep it using acetone and cotton balls. Toe box is nicely prepped. Now we're gonna be using some flat black paint and angle a brush to give this toe box a repaint.
black leather is all done. Same thing we did with the white leather. We gotta protect it using some Krylon matte finish. Shoes are pretty much done. Before we lace them up, we're gonna refreshen up the suede because it's looking a little bit ashy using the Rejuvenator Almighty Mink Oil. All right, YouTube, we made it to the end of this restoration. Check out this freshly restored CDP Higa game Air Jordan 13. All I gotta say is, damn. These things were beat, a lot of wear and tear on the soles, but the shoe came out swinging. What I did on this restoration was give these shoes a full proper deep clean inside and out using a Rejuvenator's street brush single line system, as well as a detergent. After that was all done, I removed the yellowing off the soles. That took a while because there was a lot of deep yellowing on those pods. Once that was all done, I moved on to removing the creasing off the toe boxes using the iron method. That was super easy. After that, I re-glued a separation near the toe box. Um, that came out flush and perfect. No glue where there shouldn't be. Once that was done, I moved on to white leather. Repainted it, got rid of all those scuffs, deep scratches, and faded leather. Did the exact same process on the black and finished off this restoration by refreshing up the black suede using the almighty mink oil. You can find all these products you see right here at rejuvenator.com. We also do weekly giveaways on this channel. Jam packed in the description below, we have this week's giveaway winner, some promo codes to use on our website, and the details on how to enter for next week's giveaway. Also, who's gonna go check out Star Wars this Thursday? I know I am. I've been waiting for this movie all my fucking life. Got the sick ass Star Wars custom coming your way this Monday. Stay tuned for that. This is Vic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next Monday.